The Sahara, the largest desert in the world, covers an astonishing 9.2 million square kilometers. To put that in perspective, it's big enough to fit India, the seventh largest country in the world, three times over. With 70% of the year being sunny, it's an ideal location for solar panels, right? Could this supply the world's energy needs and you could become the richest person in history? Or would it destabilize global ecosystems and accelerate global warming? Before we dive in, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, liked the video, and commented on what you would do with such massive amounts of energy. Okay, okay, no more talking. Let's get to the main topic. Turning the Sahara into a giant solar farm. First, let's consider the cost of building such a massive solar infrastructure. As we mentioned earlier, the Sahara is 9.2 million square kilometers, so we'd need an equal amount of solar panels to cover the entire region. One square meter of solar panel costs around $400 and has an output of about 400 watts. This gives us a total cost of approximately $3.7 quadrillion, 37 times the GDP of the entire world. Every human on Earth would need to work for 37 years to fund this colossal investment. 37 fucking years. And that's just for the solar panels, not including labor, transport, and other costs. But let's say we printed some money and we can start the building. If one worker can place one square meter of solar panel in one hour and we had one million workers, it would take around 1,050 years to complete the project. With 10 million workers, it would take 105 years, still a long time, but more feasible. Or we could just buy some Clash of Clans gems and finish it in 30 seconds. And voila, the largest structure ever built is ready to operate. This massive solar farm would generate around 3,680 terawatts, which is 186 times more energy than the world produced in 2021. This would cause energy prices to crash like 9-11 planes, potentially leading to a utopian scenario where energy is abundant and cheap and everyone lived happily ever after, right? Bruh, you really thought covering the Sahara Desert with solar panels wouldn't destabilize the entire ecosystem? The Sahara's main function is to reflect most of the sunlight and heat back into the atmosphere. If we cover it with solar panels, the heat would be absorbed, raising ground temperatures and creating warmer air. This warmer air would then condense at higher levels of the atmosphere, causing massive rains, something quite uncommon in this area. You might ask, wouldn't more water help Africa? Well, massive flooding probably wouldn't, and the effects wouldn't be limited to Africa either. The Amazon rainforest relies on minerals blown over from the Sahara Desert. Without these minerals, it would die off. If the Amazon rainforest dies, carbon dioxide levels would rise significantly, accelerating climate change and displacing millions of people. This would lead to a huge migration crisis. Additionally, the extra heat from the Sahara would travel to other parts of the world, destabilizing weather patterns. This could make weather in Asia and America more unstable, resulting in more tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods. These disasters would kill thousands of people and cause billions of dollars in property damage. But at least we'd generate huge amounts of electricity, right? Well, for a few years, maybe. Due to the extreme temperature fluctuations, high heat during the day and uh, freezing temperatures at night, the solar panels would wear out quickly, producing less and less power over time. Speaking of electrical power, transporting it around the world presents another problem. For every 1,000 kilometers of electrical wire, about 1.9% to 2.8% of energy is lost due to resistance. So, if we wanted to transport our energy to the other side of the world, say Australia, we'd be dealing with around a 30% energy loss, making it infeasible. In conclusion, covering the Sahara with solar panels would likely cause everything to be fucking destroyed with little lasting benefit in return. And that's all for today's topic. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care.